Next on our docket was creating a rocket. We wanted to have a, a Santa-inspired, sleigh-inspired, Christmas-inspired uh, rocket ship, uh, kind of a 50s-style rocket, almost as if Santa had uh, taken apart his sleigh and reconfigured that sleigh into a rocket so Santa could deliver presents to all the good boys, girls, and aliens throughout the whole galaxy. We took some uh, foam blocks, actually the giant foam sheets that you would find at Home Depot. We cut it up into uh, more uh, usable sizes and then cut those up using a hot wire uh, foam cutter and we cut those into small squares and then placed them inside of this. What I've created here is a jig. Uh, made this jig with the form, this is essentially the silhouette of the rocket that we're looking at. Cut that out of masonite, uh, just printed it out on a computer, placed it onto the masonite, printed off a half a rocket here and a half a rocket right here. And then I have my foam blocks. I've stacked them one on top of each other, glued those together using uh, Hot Wire Foam Factory's uh, foam fusion glue. And uh, what I've done is I've also cut off the corners here, created uh, essentially a rotisserie uh, type thing. I'll be using a hot wire foam cutter bow saw, and I'll just guide it down the uh, forms. And the, theoretically, once I'm done, I'll have that beautiful 50 style uh, rocket, and then we'll have to work on the uh, work on the fins after that. But let's go ahead and get started see how this comes out. So slowly by slowly we're peeling away that what was originally a large block of foam. We've got a long ways to go. There it is. Let's go ahead and open this up and uh, see how it looks. Looks like it's taking off. And there we go. I've got a little bit of cleanup on the nozzle here and uh, going to sand down the body a little bit. But other than that, uh, I'm really happy with this. I think this looks great. After we get this cleaned up, the next step will be to make the fins and attach those fins. After that, we're going to make some heavy modifications to this rocket and it will be holding a camera and a monitor inside the rocket itself. So let's get to making those fins. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut my fins and I'll be using some leftover foam that I have and a uh, form that I cut out of masonite in the shape of the fin. I've already done a couple and I think they uh, came out very nicely. So all I need to do is to place the form onto the uh, foam and then I'm going to use a hot wire uh, scroll saw here. This hot wire just cuts right into the foam like so, and then I just follow that form around. And there it is. So I've already got uh, two made, this is my third one and uh, we'll be placing those onto the rocket, but before I do so, I actually need to carve out some uh, holes, some recessed areas within the rocket that will be used to hold uh, some of our technology. We'll be uh, inputting a, a GoPro camera inside of the, uh, pretty much towards the nose section of the rocket, 
and that will be taking video out of our, our window at the participants that are looking in and then we'll, we'll also have a large monitor that will be inset into the rocket. We'll then stop that down so it appears to be uh, just a porthole in the rocket and then participants to the window visiting will be able to see themselves in the rocket itself. So now I just need to uh, go grab the rocket form and cut those holes out. Well, there's the initial cut in the rocket that will be for our monitor here. Uh, you're probably wondering why I went all the way through the rocket when I only needed a, a section inside. It's actually easier to go through the entire thing and then fill up the hole that's, that's not needed. We'll also do that uh, to create the porthole. We'll probably use an extra piece of foam that will go in here. That will be sanded down and uh, then we'll put the plastic coat over that and hopefully you won't even know that this gigantic hole was ever there in the first place. I'm going to clean this up a little bit, make it just a little bit larger for the monitor and then I'll be cutting another hole right up here for the GoPro camera that will be installed in the rocket. So we'll do the process all over again just on a slightly smaller scale.